How is it going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, continuing on with the Ballad of Gay Tony event or mission walkthroughs. This is the second mission, in a sense, after I Love LC. In this case, I'm taking Luis down to Tony's club to uh, help Tony out with another mission. And this mission is called Chinese Takeout. I'll let Tony and Luis explain while they're driving because the music cuts out while they're talking. So let's get on with this mission. Hey man. Hey bro. Tony in? Yeah. Luis enters the club and takes a look around. He notices some patrons dancing. One of them is Brucey, and the other is Roman Belichick, Nico's cousin. He shakes his head and decides to move on. Maury, Maury, shit, no, no, Maury, Maury, no, I, I got the money, seriously, that's not the issue. No, I just want to make you happy. Is, is there anything else my team can do for you? No, we can do events, parties. <laughs> no, anything you like, just, just give it a think. All right, bye-bye. What a dick. What's up, T? Oh, I don't want to think about what's up. Come on, there's something I got to take care of. Think, think. Ah. <laughs> hey, Mr. Tony! You remember me? Of course, of course. Uh, my business partner, Mr. Lopez. Yusuf Amir. What is up, homie? Not much. <laughs> hey, you guys want to join us maybe for uh, a bit of this or a bit of that? Ah, uh, we'd love to, but we gotta go deal with some business. Okay, good. Good seeing you. Yeah. Take care, huh? Oh, 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 And uh, if you ever want to talk about franchising this place, huh, just give me a call. We will. We absolutely will. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I'm in the mood, baby. Ya wallahi, ha, ha, wallahi, ha. Head down to Dragonheart in Chinatown. Are you carpooling with a rapist? Calculating route. <laughs> Take this gun, Luis. Just in case. Just in case? No, this is some sci-fi shit. I know a guy who gave me a deal. What can I say? It helps to be prepared. Tony, man. We're going to Chinatown? Really? What? We got business. Tony, you know what you like on the MSG. Those fucking headaches. You won't leave the house. Or for a fucking echo. I don't mean. Oh, I'm glad you care. It ain't that I care. It's that I can't take the moaning. Well, we're not heading out for dim sum. Rocco's asked to talk to someone. So Renta Guido pretended to be a gangster? Now I wish we were getting take up. Hey, we're in debt to the kid and his uncle, and he's got the ear of one of the most powerful families in the city. We gotta at least pretend to play ball. There you have it. Uh, Tony and Luis are going to do something for Rocco because Tony owes him money. Now, the gun that Tony gives Luis is actually a very good weapon right from the get-go, and probably a little better than the carbine rifle, but you still want to have some grenades for this mission. In that case, I guess my brother is in good hands. You take care of that prick. It seems the definition of family loyalty differs in your country. The marketplace has a value for everything, and I guess that a disloyal Jew bastard ain't worth shit to me, brother or no brother. Such are the heady joys of consumer capitalism. A system that's flaws are becoming increasingly evident. Ah, <laughs> that's right, I forgot. You little yellow people are commies too, huh? Both sides of the fence? You know, I grew up watching your kind getting killed on the TV. Hell of a show. I'm sure, but perhaps the show wasn't as much fun 
as a reality of that wall. Hmm, perhaps not. Now I bid you farewell, sir, and don't do all that smack at once. On second thought, you know, go ahead. Do. Boo. Hey, watch it, you greaseball fuck. I apologize for our associate's uncouth manner. I can only say that our partnership with him is one of necessity, not volition. Please, you must be the famous Tony Prince. Ah, uh, notorious, maybe. It's Luis Lopez, my business partner. Hey. Mr. Pelosi has led me to expect much from this meeting. Ah, yeah, about that. Rocco has a tendency to promise more than he can deliver. So that must have been weaned too early. Yeah, or not weaned at all. As you can see, we are already behind schedule on this project. We need you to, uh, how do I put this, to uh, clear things with the planning department and to ease some licensing troubles. Hey, look, we're not lawyers, okay? We run nightclubs, pretty badly, too. We got enough trouble keeping the licenses on our own clubs, okay? We don't do licenses. Before I was being polite, Mr. Lopez, but I do not have to be. Mr. Pelosi made it clear that you are not in a position to choose who you help and who you do not. Yeah, well, that kid's got a big mouth, okay? And he ain't in no position to be writing checks for us, okay? We are not going to be able to help you, period. Let's go, Tony. Sorry to waste your time, Mr. Um... You are not going anywhere until we have an arrangement. No, I'm afraid we are. There is no arrangement. You got a problem? Take it up with your boy Rocco. <laughs> you are not negotiating column inches and bar tabs, you insolent fuck! We are serious people! <laughs> really? Hmm. Yeah, really! <clears throat> what is wrong with you? I was supposed to be the irrational idiot with the anger issues. I got anger issues. Okay, the guy threatens to shoot me because I can't arrange a liquor license for him. Please, give me a break, T. Oh, God. Oh, They're coming for us. Okay, I had shown you how to find grenades and the carbine rifle. Again, this submachine gun that's given you is really awesome. So no need to have the carbine rifle. But you want body armor and grenades. And you don't want to do something stupid. You just stay low and work your way around the corners carefully using this submachine gun. And then you got to take down the bad guys as they pop up. And Tony will follow you. You will tell him when he can move and when all is clear. Now, in this instance, uh, yeah. This guy is kind of hard. He's hidden behind that like dumpster or whatever the heck it is, pile of wood. So a grenade is real helpful. You toss it in and watch the fun. Both of those guys are pretty much down. This guy comes charging through and you shoot him. And you just work your way slowly. And I'll let this play out because it's kind of interesting. And I'll interrupt when I do something a little stupid. Perfect! Just perfect! Stop me then! Fun. Oh, 
motherfuckers! You better kill me, asshole! Come on down. This is actually the first place where I do something stupid. They throw a grenade, and rather than run behind the corner and take shelter, yeah, that hurt. And it did a lot of damage, but the body armor is still intact. And again, this is where I said you might want to pick up some grenades. And you take these guys down. Does it matter? Just get us out of it. Come up here, bro. He's a monster. Motherfuckers! I knew Rocco was a piece of shit. Okay, at the bottom of these stairs is some body armor, but you got to be careful. Sometimes the bad guys pop out, and keep an eye on the radar in the lower left corner. You can see the red dots are the bad guys. Uh, fire a few shots. If they don't jump out, you can grab the body armor and use this piece of copier or office equipment as protection and then work your way around the corner this is where I do something stupid I ended up trying to get that guy who's hiding behind the copier and I get chopped up by this guy but I can't shift my lock and yeah uh, I back that guy off and run around the corner here and now I gotta fight my way through these guys to somewhere because the body armor doesn't respawn and so this is where I'm going to have to fire and walk across and hit the guy and kill him before he kills me. And then use the office equipment as cover, which sucks. And again, I'm going to make it through here. Those guys, they're undercover. So I shoot this guy a little bit. Yeah, the sometimes things are a little wonky here. That guy jumps out, take him down, take a few hits. Yeah, this is getting a little gummed up, but I will make it through. And I'm going to switch to the carbine rifle here. And hopefully, yeah, I'm going to play this out and let you see how it plays out. <laughs> Okay, that worked out. Luis is a little low on health. I'm going to check out these offices here to see if there's anything in here, like a first aid kit or some armor. They're sometimes around in these buildings, but they're not here. So I'm going to have to be real careful now. Crouch low and work my way down, and these guys are easy to take out. Again, you got to be a little careful now. Otherwise, you got to start the mission over, and it stinks to walk your way all the way through this. And these stairwells are kind of a real tricky, but the guys usually pop up, and ah, good, there's a sprunk machine. That will actually help, but you got to take down the bad guys first. Shit! What are we hanging around for? This is where having grenades helps. 
and you can toss him down. You take a few hits. Yeah, gonna have to switch back to the machine gun and work this out a little carefully. Um, it's yeah, these guys are pretty tough. And again, you know, it's all due to Rocco. He's kind of a jerk, and you gotta worry about Tony. Once you can get these two guys down, and again. The machine gun, they're coming around the corner. Uh, might be a good time to toss a grenade here. And what you want to do is throw it. It'll bounce off the wall. And, yep, takes these guys down. You want to get that last guy down here with the machine gun. And now you can drink from the Sprunk machine and get your health back up. And then continue on with the fight. Find a happy place. Fucking psychopaths. Okay, these guys are kind of difficult, but hey, you have the Sprunk machine. If you take a little bit of damage, run back and uh, take things, you know. Yeah, it's, again, these guys are a little tough. I'm going to see if the machine gun here can help me out. They're coming after Luis and work my way down here. Again, if you take some damage, you got the Sprunk machine. And I think these are the last couple guys that Luis has to deal with. And once they're dealt with, this is just simply stepping around the corner and firing. Go back, uh, get the health fueled up by the Sprunk machine, and I think you can take Tony out safely. Okay, it looks like those guys were the last two, and I'm just see people moving, but it's just civilians, so uh, Tony can walk out, and Luis can walk out, uh, and you can take Tony back to his apartment, and you can hear the conversation once Tony gets into the car here. He's kind of freaking out a little bit, but I'll let it roll. I never thought we'd get out of that place. That was worse than spinning class. My fucking heart. Hey, you need to look after yourself. I'm soaked through. I must have lost three pounds in sweat. Yeah, don't go looking for a right side. Marco's big mouth barely got us killed. Fuck. Can I get a hold of him? You won't do anything, Lou. You'll play it nice. We can use this if we're smart. We were dumb enough to walk in. You're gonna call Rocco then? Rip him a new one? I got a feeling we ain't the only ones who'll be ripping him, Lou. God, I need my pills. Don't take that shit, T. I'm serious. And there you go. Chinese takeout. The second mission. You get the auto save and move on. Uh, I got the crappy score of 62%. To be honest with you, I'm not trying to get 100%, just trying to complete the missions. I'll be doing more Ballad of Gay Tony videos. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button. I will be posting more at four a week. And if you enjoy them, thanks. I appreciate it. As always.
Thanks for stopping by.